All right, let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we're tracking on Beyond, where Iran continues to face global criticism over its handling of the coronavirus outbreak. Now, there is a report that's been published by the BBC's Persian channel, and this claims that the actual death toll in the country is actually as high as 210. Now, this is six times the fatalities that have been put out officially by the Iranian government. The report claims that an official in Iran's health ministry actually leaked the death toll numbers. It says that most of the deaths are from the capital city of Tehran and also the holy city of Qom. The official death toll in the country stands at 34, with eight new cases having been reported overnight in Iran. The government, for its part, though, has outrightly rejected this report by the BBC's Persian wing. A spokesperson for Iran's health ministry has accused the BBC of actually spreading lies and rumours and even panic and has said that Iran's transparency in publishing information regarding the virus has actually stunned many people. Now remember, this is not the first time that Iran has been accused of trying to downplay the severity of the outbreak. And it's not just Iran that's been accused of trying to downplay the severity of the outbreak. Many nations around the world have done so. The U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has also said that Iran's infrastructure is simply not robust enough to handle the outbreak. And he's offered assistance to the Iranian government. Needless to say that Iran completely has rejected this American offer for help. A legislator from Qom has also accused the Iranian authorities of trying to downplay the outbreak and has said that the government is seeking to censor the actual death toll. But the deputy health minister has categorically denied all of these allegations. Meanwhile, in South Korea, the coronavirus outbreak seems to be spiraling out of control. Nearly about 600 new cases of coronavirus infections have been reported just in the last 24 hours. And this is the highest single-day increase that South Korea has witnessed since the very first case was reported. Now, across the country, almost about 3,000 people have been infected by the novel coronavirus. The city of Daegu continues to be the worst affected. Three women from the city have died due to the viral infection. And 90% of all these cases have been reported here. Now, Daegu is the fourth largest city in South Korea, but its streets have been largely deserted over fears of the virus. Now, the center of the outbreak in South Korea is the Shincheonji Church Group. Close to about 80% of all cases of the novel coronavirus infections have been linked to the members of this one particular religious group. And the authorities feel that the number of cases will rise up sharply once the 210,000 members of this group are tested. The authorities have asked people to maintain hygiene and refrain from leaving their homes as much as possible. Despite the rapid rise in infections, South Korea has decided not to implement citywide quarantines or lockdowns like the ones that we witnessed in China.